Well, hello, good people. Some exciting news today from Stability AI. Stable Diffusion 1.0 has been officially released. Now I'm just going to jump right into it and show you the announcement from Discord. Currently, it's available at these locations, Dream Studio via API, ClipDrop. It will be available on GitHub, maybe by the time I'm finished recording this video. When I was on the call, they still had to release the weights. But for now, I just want to show you some quick examples. And I'm also going to put some points on the screen as I talk here. This was a prompt that I normally use for testing, sort of a Venom Carnage hybrid image. But as you see the quality here, this is just the base model without applying a style. By the way, this is Dream Studio. I had some credits left over from trying out 0.9. Here's a great example where the hands turned out very well. Mind you, I will tell you it still struggles with hands every now and then. So it's definitely not perfect, but I would say a huge improvement over Stable Diffusion 1.5. Another Venom variation using the comic style that comes in Dream Studio. I was just curious to see how it looked. A mechanical butterfly prompt that I, again, like to test. And the one thing I noticed, if you look here, the prompt's really simple. These prompts worked very well in mid-journey. And I would say that the language model that's on SDXL 1.0 feels very similar, if not slightly better, I would say. Along with the simple prompts, one of the things that they brought up was that this model is tuned to understand aspect ratios better, meaning chances are you'll get less cropped heads or images where the arm is cut off or that type of thing. So it's been fine tuned to recognize composition. Here's more of a CGI example. Then I tried something just a bit more photorealistic. It still has that hyper-realistic look, but tweaking the prompt, I was able to get more of an analog style feel. They also mentioned that eight gigabyte GPUs would be fine to run SDXL 1.0 on something like Comfy UI. You can get away with four or six gigabytes, but it'd be a little bit slower. I also saw in the Invoke AI Discord that there's now a new version that should support SDXL 1.0 via their node-based system. But for Automatic 11.11, it's gonna need some tweaking. So that may be a few days. So it might be a bit longer to get the support on Automatic 11.11 and equivalent platforms. With that being said, the Refiner model isn't absolutely necessary. Apparently the base model has been more fine tuned to where you'll actually probably get better results just from the base model. So if you're running something like Comfy UI, you just have to set up a node system to run the base model and the refiner model may or may not do any better. So it's really up to you to experiment. The one thing I'm noticing with these portraits that I've been trying out, the eyes are stunning. You know, if you're into generating photographic images, you're going to be blown away. It still kind of has that hyper realistic look, but you could tone it down with prompts like raw photo, film grain, analog style. That'll help make it look more photorealistic. One thing I found really interesting when they were talking about training and LoRa's, apparently there's going to be a LoRa to use with SDXL 1.0 that's going to be just as good as training a Dream Booth model. They seem to think that going forward, that's going to be more likely, more popular to do than a Dream Booth training, mainly because it takes less resources and smaller file sizes, and it's more easier for you and I to do it as well. What's also very evident with 1.0, the contrast, the colors, the saturation, just from the base model itself, you can see that it's greatly improved. The license will be the usual Creative ML license. And as mentioned before, there is an API available. It's currently on ClipDrop in Dream Studio for you to try out. On ClipDrop, it's free, but there is a bit of a wait time just because everyone's trying it out. This is already a pruned model, so no need to wait for a pruned model to come out. And it's not ready for control net just yet. That's still to come. In regards to text, there has been some improvement and they did suggest to not put in text in the prompt, more like create a signed with whatever words in quotation. Unfortunately, I have to head out now, but when I get back, I'm gonna fire up Comfy UI and see if I can get it running. And if that's the case, I may have another video to come out soon. Until then, I'll see you when I see you.